Well, thank you, Chamberlain. We do have with us Representative Edward Wajok, who is uh, the Chairman of the House Committee on Human Rights. You're welcome to the studio. Thank you very much. Uh, so you've seen the allegations being thrown here and there, and right now Honorable Jibrin has gone to uh, the, the anti-graft agencies and all the security agencies to make a formal complaint and give them documents. How do you think this is going to end? Well, it's a mockery of our justice system because I'll tell you that before I came to the House as an Attorney General of the State, I've looked at all our statute books, all the allegations he's making. There is no law or offense known as budget party. Check the ICPC laws, the EFCC laws, the Police Act, the Criminal Code, the Penal Code. You will not see where there's an offense called budget padding or moving funds from one subhead to uh, the, the other. Uh, all what he's uh, alleging there are things that are within the purview of the uh, National Assembly, within the powers of the National uh, Assembly. So, and he's even reporting even to the DSS. Is there any offense against state new, uh, security? So it's neither here nor there. So you make nothing of these allegations? You think there is storm in the teacup? It's storm in the teacup. Why do you say so? I say so because the power given to the National Assembly is there in the Constitution. If you look at Section 80, Subsection 4, and Section 81, as a matter of fact, the heading of Section it is says powers and control over public funds. It's only the National Assembly that has powers of control over public funds and not the executive. If you read the entire constitutional provisions as regards to you know, the president and executive, there's nowhere that is described as having power of control over public funds. And on the issue of uh, the, the budget section 81 says the president shall cause to be laid estimates of heads of expenditure and revenue. Mm -hmm. It's estimates. In other words, nothing is exact until it is passed into law by the National uh, Assembly. I have here even what the President sent to the National Assembly. Look at it. Proposals of the Federal Government to the National Assembly. So how can a proposal now become uh, a law? If you look at our, our House rules, our House rules give us you know, uh, the power to even uh, alter, amend as we deem fit, the estimates and proposals brought to the National Assembly by uh, the President. That is the power of the, uh, of, of the legislature. So how do we, in exercising our, our powers, be uh, accused of doing something that, uh, that is wrong? But it's absolutely uh, in this number. If I, if I have to read the relevant sections of the uh, House Standing Rules, you will you, you see where uh, Honorable Jibril got it, got it wrong. I'm not sure he's even conversant with the uh, with the House, and he was supposed to be chairman of House Appropriations uh, Committee. Let me read. Is that your House rule? Yes, these this are our, our House rules. Okay. Just before you read, I think Chimbering has a question for you. Yeah, I was a poor juggler. Let me bring this in because, I mean, we also had uh, uh, your colleague here on the show, uh, Gumau, and he spoke about what exactly or what usually happens. Now, yes, the National Assembly, they've got that to uh, look at the budget, do whatever they have to do, but he says, it is after the House has looked at the document and then before it then gets to the executive arm of government, at that point wherein it has left the purview of the House, things are then inserted. He says it's at that point that the pardon happens, not the legitimate functions of the House as covered by the law. That cannot be true because we all know that the President of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, President Muhammadu uh, Buhari, when he got the budget uh, documents, he said he had to study the documents and give it to his uh, ministers. And he took some weeks and he studied the entire documents thoroughly. This were compared again with the National Assembly, with the uh, leadership, before he signed the documents. So if there's anything, any insertion, to use uh, your words or the words of uh, Jibril, they would, have been spotted, uh, they would have been spotted out. So there's nothing new, uh, like that. As it is, we now have the Appropriation Act of 2016. Tell me under which subhead there has been an uh, insertion or there's been an addition or uh, subtraction. 
Tell us then, what then, you know, led to the sacking? Because, I mean, there are two different versions. There was the, the story of resignation. There's also the story of the sacking. But if people heard the speaker correctly, Honorable Jibrin was relieved of his duties as Chairman Appropriation Committee. In your knowledge, what happened? Well, I know that Jibrin uh, had lost the confidence of members of the House of Representatives. Firstly, in his colleagues on the Appropriations uh, Committee, alleged against him that he did the work uh, alone. He, did, he, he took the, the Secretariat of the Appropriations Committee to his own house. They never saw any uh, no document. In fact, he did almost everything uh, in a cloak and dagger uh, manner. I know that at the executive session that we held in the House of Representatives, the Speaker pleaded with us that because of issue of uh, time, let us just uh, pass the budget so that it will be sent to the executive because the budget is what will ensure that salaries are paid and services are rendered no, uh, to uh, Nigerians. When that went into the details. So you also lost did. confidence in Honorable Jibrin? Why not? Because he didn't carry members along. He didn't brief members the way uh, he was supposed to brief the uh, you know, members. So that, that had nothing to do with the fact that, or with the allegations that he, he allocated a lot of money to his own constituency and, you know, left a lot of members high and dry? Well, I uh, will say this. Before I am a first-timer in the House of Representatives, before we even came, there had been a tradition that 100 billion naira is voted in as zonal intervention uh, funds. 40 billion regional intervention, 60 billion uh, uh, constituency you no know, uh, projects. So most members were complaining that most members get between 40, 50, 70, 100 million naira for their constituencies, depending on which part of the country you're coming from and the number of constituencies uh, that you have. So how come an ordinary member who is not part of the leadership of uh, the house would now have over 4 billion naira uh, no, no, uh, worth of projects in his own constituency. I've heard of those uh, allegations. What do you call that when that happens? Do you call it padding? It's not, it's not called uh, padding. You, somebody has been able to influence those projects in his own constituency. And when the entire house uh, agrees, it's no more called uh, padding. Like I said, go and check the statute books. There's so no you also problem. agree that the entire house must agree? That, of you course, know, the entire house must agree. Okay, Nyota has a question for you. Uh, Mr. Patrick, when you said the Mr. Jibrin had lost the confidence of the members of the House. Can you break it down a little bit more? Let's understand. You've said, you've said that he was not carrying everybody along. What do you mean by he wasn't carrying everybody along? You see, as chairman of the House Appropriations no, uh, Committee, all, uh, all other standing committees are deemed to be subcommittees of the appropriation uh, no committee when we are doing uh, the budget, that is the money uh, a bill. So when members make their, 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 their submissions, you are supposed to tell them what is the final uh, no, no, no decision. There should be communication to and fro between even the chairman and the appropriation committee members and other standing no, uh, committees. But as we speak, members kept calling to ask questions from the Honorable on, Jibrin. Nobody could get uh, across no, uh, to him. So. There was uh, a breach of communication even with the chairman of the appropriations no committee. Okay. At the time of the passage of uh, the budget, he's supposed to be in touch with all members on a daily basis, in fact, on an hourly uh, basis. He's supposed to be available. But when you take the secretariat to your own house, uh, it raises all kinds of you know, suspicions. Okay. So, the, so eventually but, but, that budget came back to the house. I mean, after he, you say he allegedly took this budget to his house and turned his house to the secretariat and brought it back to the house of representatives, that budget was passed. Yes. Wasn't it? Yes. It was passed. So at that point, you cannot accuse him of having, because your colleague says that, you know, he mutilated the budget. I mean, that was what uh, Honorable Leo August said. He says it, you cannot call it padded. He mutilated. Jesus. So at that point, Jesus. the House of Representatives Jesus. passed a mutilated budget. Well, I will not call it a mutilated no, budget because all of us consented to uh, the budget. All you can say is maybe he unfairly uh influenced the award of so many uh projects to his own constituency but then that's not an issue that you say and all of you all, all of all, you all, agreed, agreed to that yes because we all saw it all the figures that are in, in the budget that deemed to be passed because all of us went through uh all those figures and that's why i said the speaker himself had to plead 
mm. with members to pass the budget the way uh, the way it is. Mm. So your concern, the concern of the members of the House wasn't the entire budget, was just about the constituency project. Is that where you're, all of you lost confidence in Mr. Jibreen? Uh, I think it's rather the way the media has turned you know, uh, the whole thing. You recall that the President signed this budget since, since May. We've been doing our legislative business almost on a daily basis before we went on a recess. Is there any day that you heard members moving a motion against Honorable Jibreen or casting as pressures on Honorable uh, Jibreen? We have been doing our, our, our business. It's only at the time that, uh, uh, that uh, he was relieved of his uh, position that he now decided not to go uh, to the media. But this issue Mr. Now, Mr. Uh, Pajok, you are the... Uh, it is you that, runner, but it has not been a part of the house uh, issue. There was no day that was on the other paper that members complained about honourable uh, uh, Jibril. Mr. Pajab, from but you just told us here. Of the house. You just told us in our studio now that the, all the members of the House of Representatives lost confidence in Mr. Jibril, and now you're saying it's the media that has turned things around. Yes, because if you look at, we are bound by our other other paper. Is there any day that you have seen the other paper of the House where the House sat and deliberated on Honorable uh, 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 Nojibrin? But I told you that there was a day that we had an executive uh, session where the Speaker briefed members because there was unease about the way and manner that uh, the Appropriations Committee did its work, or specifically Honorable uh, Jibrin. Uh, but after that executive no session, we crossed the bridge and, and we had passed no. Uh, that's Mr. Pajok, that's not how a lot of people remember the story. What they remember was that after the, uh, both chambers of the National Assembly passed the budget and sent it to the executive arm of government, the presidency refused to sign, the president more specifically, refused to sign the budget saying this was not what he sent to the House, to, 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 the, to the National Assembly. And even then, it was seen there was some scandal around that. And the, the National Assembly took the budget back and worked on it before eventually went back to the presidency be before it was signed. Is that how you remember that? I, I mentioned it earlier. Well, I, I said the president took, took his time. And uh, in taking that time, within uh, some weeks, there was some discussion between the presidency, the ministers, and uh, the leadership of the National Assembly.